Today is a very special video. I'm gonna share with you everything we got our two kids for Christmas. I picture myself as like your Montessori, Waldorfy, homeschool, unschool, slow living, minimalist friend. And so I don't know how many of those you have, hopefully a lot, but I don't notice a lot of those on the internet talking about Christmas and toys. The thing about minimalism is that there are just no rules. To me, it's a tool that I use to live a more slow paced, simplified, intentional life. I've got some practical things in here. I've got some consumables. I've got some books, beautiful, open-ended wood toys. I also have a couple plastic things this year. So I'll start with my daughter. She's five. This is the first year where she's had like specific things during the year that she's like, hey mom, I would really like that for Christmas. <laughs> I'm really excited to surprise her with some of this stuff. First off, she's been talking about wanting a bed for her babies, but everyone online I see is just like cribs for dolls and she just doesn't even understand the concept of that because we go sleep. She saw this baby bed in a store months ago, but she still talks about it. And so I sell it on Amazon now. So. As much stuff as I can find, I will link it for you. Something I think about a lot when I'm purchasing toys is where's the toy gonna go after I purchase it? Literally, like where can I picture in my house that thing being stored so that my kids know where to put it away, I know where it's gonna fit, it's not just gonna forever not have a home and therefore be in the middle of our living room. In the decision to get her a bed for her animals and her dolls, I know that this thing is gonna be out either by my bed or on top of our little like living room um, toy credenza all the time. And so as I was looking at ones online, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy one that matches my style, like that matches the aesthetic of my house that I think is beautiful because it's something I'm gonna see all the time. Of course, there's things that I bought, as you'll see in a minute, that are just straight up plastic, neon colors, but like I know my kids are gonna love them and I love that too. Like I love giving my kids gifts that they're gonna love and I know exactly where they're gonna go in the cupboard, in the credenza. So let's keep moving. I really like the Miniland dolls because they are anatomically correct. So this brand, We Baby Stella, fits the Miniland dolls, which if you have Miniland dolls, this is a huge problem with Miniland dolls. It's so hard to find clothing that will fit them. She's gonna be pumped because I have tried to actually like home make clothing for her dolls and I epically failed. That is not my strong suit. It's been like two years that she's had that doll with just a diaper and she loves it just like that, but she's gonna be really pumped to finally have clothes to put on it. So that's gonna be really exciting. Okay, next up for her, this is more of a practical gift. I found this on Etsy from a shop called Hooked in the Burrow. I don't know if your kids are like this, but she has a sweater that's just like this and she's growing out of it and she has requested for me to repurchase that same sweater again. But this one has her name on it and like pink flowers. I mean, come on, this is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. I will leave the link to this Etsy account that I purchased this from because 10 out of 10. I love supporting um, other moms that are just like going for it with small business ideas. There's one other thing I got on Etsy that I am just beside myself excited to give the kids. But I'm gonna talk about that in the middle of this video in like the joint gifts portion. So moving on to the next portion of our show. So yeah, plastics. No, this is called a Robo Alive. If you know Mallory, she catches lizards probably like 10 to 12 per day. We don't have just like lizards everywhere in our yard. I've never met anyone with the ability to like catch bugs and lizards that she has. She just loves it. It runs like a real lizard. So this got this recycle bin. No, don't do that. Yeah, when I was just a new mom with a baby, I was like, I would never buy a plastic toy that required batteries. I will never do that. Here we are. We actually got one for Tennessee too because they're just both gonna absolutely love these. Very, very exciting. Now I'm gonna show you the really big, huge, humongous gift for Mallory before stocking stuffers. Here it is. Whew, it's actually really heavy. We got Mallory her first bike. I wanna say, I think it was for her birthday. So that was in May and my son, Tennessee, started riding it, like full-time riding it, primary mode of transportation. So she and Tennessee are both always wanting to ride what they call the big bike. So we decided to get her the next size up. So that's gonna be really exciting. And it's gonna be like a double gift because now Tennessee can have the smaller bike and Mallory will have her own bike. 
and we can just ride bikes all the time. By the way, if you have a kid or know of a kid that doesn't yet have a Strider bike, make this the Christmas to change their life, okay? So let me show you the couple stocking stuffers I have for Mal. First up, geode pack. I don't know if you had these when you were a kid. Basically, you get take a rock, hit it with a hammer. It's just like the best. And that is the first stocking sticker. The next thing I got for Mallory is this metal yo-yo. She just always has questions about yo-yos because at one point she saw a YouTube video of a yo-yo so she can check it out and play with it and see how they work. Our mammoth sunflower packet, these are her favorite flowers. She loves planting seeds. I love seeing all the random seeds she plants just like come up throughout our yard and usually it's sunflowers. We always have a large amount of sunflowers in our yard and it's always thanks to Mallory and I just think it's precious. A couple more things for her stocking. We have a stained glass front door and every day, like at a certain point in the morning, we will get like a stray rainbow in our living room or like on someone's face and they, they love it, they freak out. So, so basically you hang it up in front of a window that has sun and it like makes millions of rainbows all around your room. A non-plastic toy stocking stuffer. I was gonna home make Play-Doh and put it in a mason jar and put it in her stocking, but just didn't get around to it. Picked up this little tub of Play-Doh and she's probably gonna like it way better than the stuff I would have homemade because it's a snowman and has glitter in it. And I mean, it's a consumable, I'm always looking for little consumables for their stockings. Not an overwhelming amount, but things that aren't gonna just permanently be in our lives, but that they'll have a great time with. Chalk, Play-Doh, even like favorite snacks. I feel like we have quite a few really good joint gifts this year. So first up is this puzzle. My kids love making puzzles. It's hard to find an in-between. They just did a construction truck puzzle the other day that was like 12 pieces and they did it in like five minutes and it was over. So they've talked about wanting one with more pieces, but it's hard to find in between from like 12 pieces to a thousand, like mm, four or five times a week, we'll play like a family game or do some type of puzzle at the dinner table. So um, just cause it's getting dark so early now. So I'm excited to do this puzzle with them. All right, next up joint gifts wise are a few books. So every year I make this little advent calendar for my kids. Basically what I do is like find a stick on a hike and then I just take string or twine or ribbon or whatever I have on hand and I attach 24 little bags or random things wrapped in crepe paper, notes, like just little things that I want to do with them throughout the Christmas season. Sometimes it'll be like the night before and then I'll peek into the next day and be like, hmm, yeah, I do not have stuff to make Christmas cookies. So then I just like move it down a few days. <laughs> it's very loose and very flexible. It's just like a way to do something special and have ex fun experiences with the kids throughout the Christmas season. And typically I will get them a few new Christmas books, but they're excited for it this year. So I need to get on it and get that thing <laughs> finished up, I've been like writing down little things on pieces of paper, like go drive around and look at Christmas lights, make hot chocolate, make homemade marshmallows. It's so simple, so fun, so easy to like just have a peak childhood day. Usually I'll put like a couple Christmas ornaments in there too, but that's about it as far as gifts go. It's more like experiences that we do with the advent calendar. Another joint-ish gift is these two little flashlights. My kids love to go out at night and look for bugs. And me being me, it frustrates me that all flashlights are like LED blue lights. I have lamented to my husband forever, why don't they make a red light or warm light flashlight? Lo and behold, I have found that flashlight that is not gonna keep my kids from going to sleep at night. This could probably be the only thing we get them for Christmas. It'll be in the stockings, I think. The next joint gift we have right here is this ant park. I mean, this is just like a very nostalgic 90s kid item right here. The ants and their just magnificence unfold in front of you in your home. What could be better? Basically what happens is you fill this little thing with sand and then you send away for your ants and they uh, arrive. And then you watch the ants dig their tunnels in the sand, how they eat, run, and play in the sand park. Oh, I missed a Mallory stocking stuffer. This is a Pura Vida anklet, bracelet. 
I don't know. She loves these. Okay, so one last joint gift. My kids are absolutely obsessed with Frog and Toad, The Adventures of Frog and Toad. I found on Etsy this adorable hand crocheted set duo of Frog and Toad. My plan is to have them like sticking their little heads up out of their stockings. Plus they have little clothes that you can take on and off. So now let's get into Tennessee gifts. Tennessee is my son, he's two years old. And I mean, he's really into like all the same things Mallory is, but also like construction trucks, planes, balls, skateboarding. A great gift if you know of a two year old boy would be like a bag of sand and a shovel. That would just make his life complete. But also balls, like, you know, those balls that you can just like get at the grocery store that just come in the big ball net. That is life to him right now. He's just not really into toys yet. He's gonna be so excited to now have a bike. He likes building things with my husband, like using power tools. So let me show you the, the few things that we got here for Tennessee. This is like his main gift. I mean, I could see him like not opening another gift after this. So what happens here is there's these three construction trucks and it comes with a drill. Every bolt, every wheel, every piece can just be completely taken apart and then you can go and fix it, like rebuild it. On top of that, you can turn the drill into a remote to drive the trucks around. So I don't know how long this will last or how quickly we're gonna lose a piece, potentially very quickly. But for the while that it's in its glory, this is going to be great. Tennessee's going to love this. At least I think. We'll see, you know? So we play with magnet tiles every single day. Probably our kid's favorite toy. After bikes and just like digging outside. We can build a truck and then like a crane. Looks like it comes with a little road. Yeah, magnet tiles are amazing if you're looking for a great like classic toy that is gonna be very open-ended and encourage a lot of creativity. I don't know anyone that doesn't like magnet tiles. I guess this could potentially be a stocking stuffer, but I found these balsa wood planes. I remember having these as a kid. This is actually a set of both the like rubber band crank ones and the balsa gliders. Dang, he's gonna love that. Oh, I don't know what I'm building right now. Why? Get in there, bud. I did it. There you go, the little balsa glider. And let me show you his few stocking stuffers. One of his favorite things is when my husband will be like at the dinner table and spins like a penny or something on the table. He loves it, but he's never seen a top like this. So yeah, I got this at Whole Foods. One dollar little spinning top. Then also, obviously I'm gonna put a few of these geodes in his stocking. I got him a pot of Play-Doh as well. I might also get them both some chalk, and I'm also going to give him one of these rainbow makers. I don't know what it is, if this is just like an across the board kid thing. Whenever you see a Mini Cooper, you just like have to say Mini Cooper when you see it. So I don't know what it is, but my kids are very much into finding all the Mini Coopers. I see he's going to be very excited when he sees this on Christmas morning. He loves like playing little things with cars. He has like this whole road set where he'll make roads for them to drive on or he'll just like throw them off the top of things and watch them jump so high. There you go. That's everything I got my kids for Christmas. What is my definition of excess? It might be different than yours. Something I'm working on. Maybe I should stop looking around at other people so much about what other people do and what works for them and learn from other people instead and be like, oh, that's a cool, that's a good idea. That's a cool thought. I like the intention behind that. Now let me apply that to my life and what works for me and just be confident in that. It's okay if it looks different than me. Getting value from things is much more than just like practicality. And some things are just beautiful and that's value. I mean, that might be the most valuable thing that things do for us. The experience of Christmas morning that's value, like we got value. That's all, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next week for my next one.